Hi, my name is Tommy Falgu, and I'm a Partner Cloud Solution Architect at Microsoft. Kubernetes Apps allows for an easy self-service marketplace option for customers to purchase solutions from our ISV partners with vetted security and integrated billing. There's typically two personas in a Kubernetes Apps marketplace offer, the ISV partner and the end customer. As an ISV, leveraging Kubernetes apps offers in the marketplace involves three scenarios. Packaging, ingestion, then publishing. In this demo, I'll show both the ISV experience and the customer experience. The sample ISV app I will focus on is Minecraft as a Service Offer, which installs a Minecraft server into a customer's AKS cluster. I will have links to this content available on GitHub. This slide shows the ISV development lifecycle. Start by taking your container images and packaging them into a Helm chart with the manifest file. Then create the Azure Portal UX definition file and ARM template. Package it then using a cloud native application bundle. Upload it to your Azure Container Registry and then create the offer referencing the cloud native application bundle image in Partner Center. Here you can see the Azure Portal UI definition file. This is for use for defining the customer experience when a customer would use the Azure Portal to purchase. Then there's also the ARM template. The ISV application is installed as an AKS extension. This ARM template specifies the AKS extension and all the parameters that are passed to it. There's also the Helm chart and a manifest file, which is used by Azure to define your bundle. In this case, I'm going to bump to 1.0.5. To help with the publishing process, Microsoft has built a container package app tool called CPA. CPA build bundle will take your Helm chart as well as the other files and build a cloud native application bundle for it. Then it will take it and push it to your Azure Container Registry. All right, now our package is successfully pushed into our Container Registry. We're now going to cut over to Partner Center. This is Partner Center. As an ISV, you will then ingest that bundle that we just pushed and publish your offer into the Microsoft Partner Center. By doing this, you'll create an offer and set the category as a Kubernetes app. We'll set the pricing and availability as well as other details. But first off, let's look at the Marketplace offer and I already have an existing Minecraft as a service free offer. We're gonna create a brand new offer here. Call this Minecraft Paid, and the offer alias would be Minecraft as a Service Paid. We want to say yes, we want this to transact through Microsoft. We want to specify our categories for our containers, like container apps and specify the standard uh, contract. Here's where you can add additional details for your offer. as well as logos. Make sure to save after every change you make. This is the preview audience that will be able to see the offer before you publish it live.
Here we'll create a new plan. The plan defines the billing for the offer. set the market to allow this to be available in the United States. Two of the licensing options are either having a custom price with using either per core or per every core in the cluster billing or BYOL. In this case I'm going to say one-tenth of a penny per hour. And lastly, we will specify our CNAV bundle that we just published. So in this case, I will call it myself minecraftpartner.paid. And we will specify our registry, our repo, and version 1.0.5 that we just published. All right, all of my status for all the fields are correct. And at this point, I would add some notes for certification and then publish. In consideration of time, I've already had a free offer and we're gonna look at. And here you can see the published status. I have not yet gone live with this to the Azure Marketplace, but you can see it here that I have gone through the different validations and certifications. So let's go look at what the customer experience would be. So the customer would look into the, go to their Azure portal, look at marketplace. And in this case, I had a private offer. So here was an option for my free Minecraft as a service. You can see plans, pricing and information. I would go through, click create, specify my resource group, the cluster details that I would want to install onto Minecraft. I would just call this Minecraft and accept the EULA, as well as uh, the level is only available for hard. And if you want a paid, if you want to be able to do Minecraft on easy or peaceful, well, that's what you would have the Minecraft as a service for paid option. These are all options you can specify in that UI, as well as the loading message. Come to create, it would do validation, and then the customer can install it. For the sake of time, I already have an existing cluster called Minecraft uh, where I have this installed, and you can see my services. I have the in the Minecraft namespace there, and my external IP address of that. So. Enough work, let's have some fun. And add a Minecraft server. There are the parameters that we specified whenever we installed the cluster that welcome to Minecraft as a service. Let's start, join the world. And now we see the beautiful sunrise from our newly deployed Minecraft server. I hope this helps you understand the ISV and customer experience for Kubernetes apps in the Azure Marketplace. Thank you.